The other day, Elon Musk said his 20-year-old son is, quote, dead. This is what the billionaire had to say during an interview with conservative commentator Jordan Peterson. Now, Musk's daughter, who changed her gender to female and her name to Vivian Jenna Wilson in 2022. Elon Musk is arguably the wealthiest man on the planet with companies like X, SpaceX, and Tesla. He is also known for his daring perspectives on political and social issues. I lost my son, essentially. Uh, so, you know, they, uh, they call it dead naming for a reason. Yeah, I... All right, I'm, so the, the reason it's called dead naming is because uh, your son is dead. So my son Xavier is dead, He's killed by the woke mind virus. Despite the fame and relentless public scrutiny, Elon had kept most of his family life fairly private. However, he recently talked in detail about one of his former sons, now a trans woman, who is supposedly infected by the woke mind virus. His daughter chose to remain out of the spotlight, but she isn't holding back anymore. She has called Elon out publicly and set the record straight about the kind of man he is. Tune in as we reveal everything about Elon Musk's trans daughter and the rest of his children along with his ever-changing political views. Elon's Brood Elon Musk has at least 12 children with three women. He welcomed six kids with his first wife, Justine Wilson, three with his ex-girlfriend Grimes, and three with his Neuralink executive, Siobhan Zillis. After marrying in January 2000, Elon and Canadian author Justine welcomed their son, Nevada Alexander Musk, in 2002. Nevada died of sudden infant death syndrome, or SIDS, at only 10 weeks. After losing their firstborn, Musk and Wilson turned to IVF to grow their family. She gave birth to twins Griffin and Xavier Musk in April 2004. They are both 20 years old now, and Xavier calls herself Vivian. Musk and Wilson also used IVF to welcome triplet sons Kai, Saxon, and Damien in January 2006. The trio are now 18. The former couple divorced in 2008 after two marriages to Westworld star Tallulah Riley and a brief relationship with actress Amber Heard, Musk started dating singer Grimes, whose real name is Claire Elise Boucher, in May 2018. She gave birth to their son, XAEA Twartine, in May 2020. X was originally named XAEA 12, but AE and 12 violated California law for not being part of the English alphabet, forcing his parents to change his name. It was reported in September 2021 that Musk and Grimes had broken up. Grimes revealed in March 2022 that she and the SpaceX founder had welcomed his first daughter, the unusually named Exa Dark Siderail Musk, via surrogate in December 2021. Exa was given the nickname Y after their other child was named X. Grimes referred to Musk as her boyfriend in the bombshell Vanity Fair interview, though she called their relationship fluid. Hours after the cover story was published, however, she tweeted that they had since split again. The tech giant quietly welcomed a third child with Grimes, named Techno Mechanicus, according to Walter Isaacson's biography published in September 2023. Very little is known about the little one who is believed to have arrived around June 2022. The exes have nicknamed the child Tao. Musk quietly welcomed twins with Neuralink Director of Operations and Special Projects, Zillis in November 2021, According to court documents obtained by Business Insider in July 2022, the ex-CEO and Zealous reportedly filed a petition to change the twins' names to have their father's last name and contain their mother's last name as part of their middle name, which a judge in Austin, Texas, approved in May 2022. The children's names are Strider and Azure, and they were revealed in September 2023. Bloomberg reported in June 2024 that Musk and Zealous had a third child together at the start of the year. Musk confirmed the birth of his 12th child, saying that all of their friends and family know about the child. The name and sex of the child are not known. Son dead to Musk Tesla CEO Elon Musk said his estranged transgender daughter was supposedly killed by the woke mind virus after he was tricked into agreeing to gender-affirming care procedures. In an interview with psychologist and conservative commentator Dr. Jordan Peterson, the ex-owner called gender reassignment surgery child mutilation and sterilization. 
He then discussed his 20-year-old child, Vivian Jenna Wilson, who he said underwent the procedures during the COVID pandemic. Elon revealed that he was essentially tricked into signing documents for one of his older boys. During this interview with Daily Wire, he referred to his child by their dead name. He said that it was before he had any real understanding of what was going on, and COVID added more confusion into the mix. He was told that his child might end up committing suicide if he did not agree to the medical procedure. The SpaceX founder claimed the process is done to children who are far below the age of consent and said he agreed with Peterson's belief that anyone who promotes the practice should go to prison. Due to this, Elon claims that he basically lost his son, and according to him, this is why they call it deadnaming because the child is no more. Musk called the woke mind virus a threat to modern civilization. He went on to say that the experience set him on a mission. He vowed to destroy the woke mind virus after that, and he claims to have even made some progress. In a December 2021 interview with conservative outlet The Babylon Bee, where he called it a world without humor, and arguably one of the greatest threats to modern civilization. In 2022, Vivian Jenna Wilson came out as transgender and legally changed their birth name from Xavier, besides breaking ties with her father, Elon Musk. Vivian was legally granted her name and gender change at age 18 at the Santa Monica Courthouse in California on June 22, 2022. She said the name change was due to gender identity and an apparent dislike of Musk according to a petition filed on April 18, 2022, in Los Angeles County Superior Court. In the petition, Vivian wrote that she no longer lived with or even wished to be related to her biological father in any way. Earlier, Elon even said that these concerns motivated his decision to buy the social media platform X, which was back then known as Twitter, according to a December 2023 report in the Wall Street Journal. While speaking at an event in Italy, Musk said that the woke mind virus is responsible for creating very divisive identity politics as well. He claims that this amplifies racism, sexism, and other socially unacceptable behaviors. He noted that this so-called virus divides people and makes them hate each other and hate themselves. Before that, Musk made an appearance on a podcast and summed it up as communism rebranded. Elon even implored Netflix to make more sci-fi or fantasy-related content. He thinks that the woke mind virus has even invaded pop culture, and it has made most of the content on streaming services completely unwatchable. Musk's public comments come about a week after he announced that X and SpaceX would join Tesla and move to Texas because of California's AB 1955, or the Safety Act. The legislation bans schools from implementing rules that require parents to be notified if their child identifies as transgender and requires the State Department to provide resources to support LGBTQ plus identifying children. In the past, Musk has been repeatedly accused of engaging in transphobia or promoting anti-trans messaging. Vivian hits back. The transgender daughter of Elon Musk said recently in her first interview that he was an absent father who was cruel to her as a child for being queer and feminine. The 20-year-old Vivian, in an exclusive interview with NBC News, responded to comments Musk made about her and her transgender identity. Wilson said that Musk had not been tricked and that, after initially having hesitated, he knew what he was doing when he agreed to her treatment, which required consent from her parents. She said that Elon's recent comments crossed a line, Vivian said that Elon was probably under the assumption that she was not going to say anything and would just let this go unchallenged. She was not going to stay silent by any means, especially if Elon told such blatant lies about her in front of millions of people. She said that, for as long as she could remember, Musk has not been a supportive father. She said he was rarely present in her life, leaving her and her siblings to be cared for by their mother or by nannies even though Musk had joint custody and she said Musk berated her when he was present. According to Vivian, Elon was cold and quick to anger on top of being uncaring and narcissistic. Wilson said that when she was a child, Musk would harass her for exhibiting feminine traits and pressure her to appear more masculine, including by pushing her to deepen her voice as early as elementary school. She recounted the time when she was in fourth grade and they went on this road trip. At the time, she was unaware that the whole family outing was just an advertisement for one of Elon's cars. During the trip, Elon was constantly yelling at her viciously because her voice was too high. Now a college student studying languages, Vivian has never been granted an interview before, 
and has largely stayed out of public view. She did, however, attract attention in 2022 when she sought court approval in California to change her name and in the process, denounced her father. She told NBC News that at the time, she was surprised by the media attention to the court filing, which she submitted when she was 18. She said in the interview that she stands by what she wrote, though she said she might have tried to be more eloquent had she known the coverage it would get. Vivian said that she hadn't spoken to Musk in about four years, and that she refused to be defined by him. She emphasized that she is an adult as she is 20 years old, and her life should be defined by her own choices, regardless of what her father says. Apart from the interview with Jordan Peterson, Elon said in a post on X that Vivian was born gay and slightly autistic, and that at age four, she fit certain gay stereotypes, such as loving musicals, and using the exclamation, fabulous, to describe certain clothing. Vivian told NBC News that the anecdotes are not true, though she said she did act stereotypically feminine in other ways as a child. She also addressed Musk's recent comments in a series of posts Thursday on the social media app, Threads. She claims that Elon does not know what she was like as a child because he simply wasn't around. In the little time he spent with her, Elon relentlessly harassed her for her femininity and queerness. Vivian thinks that her biological father has reduced her to a happy little stereotype, which says a lot about how he views queer people and children in general. Vivian was also mentioned in a biography of Musk by author Walter Isaacson, a book that she told NBC News was inaccurate and unfair to her. The book refers to her politics as radical Marxism, quoting Musk's sister-in-law Christiana Musk, but Vivian said she's not a Marxist, though she said she does oppose wealth inequality. The book also calls her by her middle name, Jenna. Vivian said Isaacson never reached out to her directly ahead of publication. In a phone interview, Isaacson said he had reached out to Wilson through family members. Vivian told NBC News that for years she had considered speaking out about Musk's behavior as a parent and as a person, but that she could no longer remain silent after his comments recently. She said she had never received an explanation for why her father spent so little time with her and her siblings, which is a behavior that she now views as strange. She revealed that Elon was around for maybe 10% of the time, even though he had half of the custody. It became normal for them during their childhood, so they never really questioned their father's absence. Vivian said she came out twice in life, once as gay in eighth grade, and a second time as transgender when she was 16. She said that she does not recall Musk's response the first time, and that she was not present when Musk heard from others that she was transgender, because by then the pandemic had started, and she was living full-time with her mother. She describes her mother as very supportive, and said that she loves her a lot. The pandemic was a chance to escape Musk's cruelty, according to Vivian. She got very lucky with the timing, and decided she was never going to her father ever again. Vivian claims that there is no truth to the allegations of Elon being tricked into signing documents for her treatment. She said that, in 2020, when she was still a minor at 16, she wanted to start treatment for severe gender dysphoria, but she needed the consent of both parents under California law. She said that her mother was supportive but that Musk initially was not. She said she texted him about it for a while. According to Vivian, she had been trying to convince her father for months through texts, but he told her that they had to meet in person. At that point, it became very clear to Vivian that they both disliked each other a lot. When she eventually went and gave him the medical forms, she said, he read them at least twice, once with her and then again on his own before he signed them. Vivian claims that Elon was not tricked by any means as he was aware of the full side effects. She said she took puberty blockers before she switched to hormone replacement therapy. She thinks that these treatments were life-saving for her and other transgender people. She said she believed the requirements to obtain such treatments remain difficult, with teenagers pressured to say they are at extreme risk of self-harm before they will be approved. She felt judged by Musk and Peterson in the interview for not being at a high enough risk in their eyes. Vivian thinks that she has been pushed to a point where she has to prove to a group of people whether or not she was suicidal. She also had to prove to them that she needed the medical transition. Apart from the interview, Elon Musk's estranged daughter Vivian skewered her billionaire father as a liar, bigot, and terrible person on a platform he doesn't own. She launched the thread after spotting Musk being lauded as a caring family man while appearing on television with some of his children. In a screenshot Wilson shared on threads, Musk can be seen proverbially patting himself on the back. 
Vivian wrote that Elon has never been a family man. In fact, he is a serial adulterer who would not stop lying about his children. She also added that Elon was not a Christian as he had never even stepped foot in a church. Not too long ago, Musk claimed on the Jordan B. Peterson podcast that he was a big believer in the principles of Christianity. He also warned people that the religion would perish without societal bravery. This was the same interview in which Elon talked about how Vivian was dead and how he had been tricked into agreeing to gender-affirming care. Vivian also responded to her father on threads, saying that she looks pretty good for someone who is supposed to be dead. She also talked about the fact that her biological father at least has 12 children with three different women. She added that she won't even touch the weird 14 words breeder with a 10-foot pole. She is possibly referring to the white supremacist idea of securing the existence of their people and a future for white children. After Elon acquired Twitter and rebranded it to X, racist posts on the platform have multiplied. Musk has publicly amplified and embraced anti-Semitic and racist conspiracy theories himself, including the Great Replacement Theory, which posits that minority groups are attempting to replace white Christians. Vivian continued to tear into Elon and told him that he was not some bastion for equality or progress. She revealed that he called Arabic the language of the enemy when she was six years old. In addition to that, he has also been sued for discrimination several times, and he belongs to apartheid South Africa. As if this was not enough, Vivian said that her father does not care about climate change. He only wants to appear like the CEO from the movie Ready Player One. She also said that he was a reason why she was disillusioned with how gullible humans are as a species. For some reason, people still keep believing in him, which is something that she would never understand. The Musk Family Elon's success as an entrepreneur is difficult to match up against. None of his siblings' success can measure up to his own. Nonetheless, though little known, Elon's siblings are quite successful and have each earned millions in their own right. The South African-based Musk family has always been wealthy, but Elon and his closely knit siblings have added enormous gains to their empire. Elon and his siblings seem to have inherited the tireless thirst to succeed from their parents. His father, Errol Musk, was an entrepreneur and an engineer, and his mother, May Musk, a model since the age of 15. Errol Musk is a South African born in Pretoria in 1946. He majored in electromechanical engineering at a local educational institution and later worked in the field. However, he is primarily interested in becoming an entrepreneur and investor with goals much larger than the average engineer with his experience and qualifications. Maya Haldeman, a Canadian model and nutritionist, was his high school sweetheart, and he married her. Elon and Kimball, their first two sons, were born in the 70s. Tosca was born to the couple a few years later. However, their marriage did not last long, and the couple divorced in 1979. According to a 2017 Rolling Stone story, Errol Musk has a genius-level IQ and was reportedly the youngest individual to acquire a professional engineer's degree in South Africa. Errol made his fortune mostly via his profession as a real estate developer. He was the owner of various mines. Even though there were several reports about Errol having an emerald mine, he just had a part in it. Errol partially retired in 1980 as a result of his job success and began to spend his time traveling. Errol financed Elon and Kimball's first software startup, Zip2, while not giving money to Elon directly. Although the firm prospered, Errol's relationship with his children remained strained. He seems to be a proud man and Elon has openly spoken up against his father, so it shouldn't come as a surprise when his daughter calls him out publicly, especially after Elon dragged her out in the first place. May, Elon's mother, has been a model and certified dietitian for more than 50 years. Women's Day, Vogue, and Time have all featured her in their magazines. She has also appeared in a number of commercials. In 1969, May placed third in Miss South Africa Beauty Contest. Even at the age of 76, May Musk remains a model. In 2019, she published a memoir called A Woman Makes a Plan, Advice for a Lifetime of Adventure, Beauty, and Success. She runs a company using her dietetics master's degree from the University of the Orange Free State in South Africa and her master's degree in nutritional science from the University of Toronto. Kimball Musk is one year younger than Elon. Kimball was born and raised in South Africa, and he and Elon both attended Queen's University in Ontario, Canada. Kimball and Elon co-founded Zip2, 
a software startup that was bought by Compaq in 1999 after graduating in 1995. Following that, he invested in Elon Musk's next business, X.com, which later became part of PayPal. He joined Tesla's board the same year Elon made his $6.5 million investment to become the company's largest shareholder and chairman. Kimball has put his personal money into Tesla and has received lucrative stock options as a result of his board involvement throughout the years. Kimball's investments tanked during the Great Recession in 2008, so he liquidated his remaining assets and invested in Tesla to aid the company. Kimball's net worth is estimated to be over $700 million, according to Forbes. This is due primarily to his ownership of nearly 2 million shares of Tesla, worth more than $350 million, according to the company's proxy filing and the share price. Tosca, Elon's younger sister, is a filmmaker and producer. She is the co-founder and CEO of PassionFlex, a streaming service dedicated to romance novel adaptations. According to Saving Advice, her net worth in 2018 was around $170 million. Tosca attended the University of British Columbia, where she majored in visual arts and specialized in cinema studies. Tosca Musk is a South African-Canadian filmmaker and businesswoman, best known for creating the groundbreaking video podcast Tiki Bar TV and the Hallmark original film Holiday Engagement. In 1997, she earned a BFA in cinema studies from the University of British Columbia. Tosca began her career in the entertainment business as a production assistant on an episode of the Discovery Channel's documentary series, Grand Illusions, The Story of Magic. She made her debut as a producer with a television documentary titled TV Guy Television. Tosca made her feature film debut in 2001 with the film Puzzled, which she wrote, produced, and directed. Musk Entertainment, a production firm she started in 2001, distributed the picture, according to IMDb website, and has produced over 30 films. Passionflix, which she co-founded in 2016, has secured over $4 million in funding from investors, including her brother Kimball. Another family member of Elon Musk is his cousin Lyndon Rive. Together with his brother Peter Rive, Lyndon Rive created SolarCity in 2006. He was the company's CEO until Tesla bought it for $2.6 billion in 2016. Reeve carried on as Tesla's energy division's chief of sales until 2017. He also co-founded Everdream Software with his brothers Russ and Peter in 1999 before establishing SolarCity. They sold it to Dell for $120 million eight years later. Elon Musk has led an extraordinary life, but he is not the only member of his family to have founded businesses, made millions, or attained celebrity status. From his filmmaker sister Tosca to his investor brother Kimball, Musk's family is full of entrepreneurs. Elon's stance on transgenderism and politics. Though Elon Musk may appear these days like your typical right-wing billionaire, that hasn't always been the case. The Tesla, SpaceX, and XAI CEO's rightward lean is the culmination of a political evolution that's been playing out over decades. As one of the richest and most powerful people in the world, Musk's political stances carry great weight. Musk's political donations dating back to 2002 fit neatly into just a single landing page on Open Secrets, a nonprofit organization that tracks money and politics, and he's contributed to both sides of the political aisle and most recently, he has been reportedly donating to a pro-Trump super PAC. Though Musk historically hasn't been big on political donations, he's publicly said that he weighs in on politics when it could affect his businesses, and 2024 may have the biggest effect on Musk yet. Ever since Trump left the White House, the billionaire has increasingly inserted himself into debates over hot-button topics, waged a largely one-way feud with President Joe Biden, and cozied up to Donald Trump. Musk has said very little publicly about apartheid, the system of racial segregation that became the defining issue of his childhood in the Republic of South Africa. His father, Errol, inherited wealth from half of an emerald mine he used to own. He was elected to Pretoria City Council in 1972, running under the anti-apartheid Progressive Party. The apartheid system was a major motivation behind the younger Musk's decision to leave South Africa for Canada in 1989 according to Ashley Vance's 2015 biography of The Billionaire. Growing up in the primarily white suburbs outside of Johannesburg, Musk was also surrounded by censorship and disinformation about the government's treatment of black people, the New York Times reported in May 2024. 
His mandatory government service was what first exposed him to the reality of the situation, according to the Times, who spoke with a high school classmate of Musk's about the insulated experience. Musk's political coming of age during the pre-social media era remains much of a mystery, but then his profile rose with the sale of his company X.com, a competitor to PayPal co-founded by Musk, and his subsequent takeover of Tesla as owner after joining founders Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening with a $6.5 million investment in 2004. Musk has long argued for small government and advocated for free enterprise economic policy, calling the U.S. government the ultimate corporation at a CEO summit in December 2020. In terms of donations, he's been in a relative holding pattern from his early years in Silicon Valley up to the present, donating moderate sums of money to politicians from both parties. He said at a 2015 Vanity Fair event that he gets involved in politics as little as possible. However, he admitted that he has to get involved sometimes to protect his business interests. He donated $2,000 each to former President George W. Bush and his 2004 Democratic challenger, former Secretary of State John Kerry. Musk also donated to California Democrats up and down the ballot, but still gave the National Republican Congressional Committee $25,000 ahead of the 2006 midterms. Another example of Musk hedging his donations came in the buildup to the 2008 presidential primaries, where he contributed to both Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton in their political race. However, Elon didn't donate to either Clinton or Trump during the 2016 cycle. The billionaire also started out as a heavy Trump skeptic, saying in October 2015 that it would be embarrassing if Trump won the GOP nomination, much less the presidency. But more recently, Musk has taken a different approach to the Trump-dominated GOP. His latest donations have all been to Republican candidates and causes, with Senator Chris Coons of Delaware being the last Democrat to receive any Musk donations back in 2020. Starting in 2017, Musk's donations began to skew Republican, with the billionaire spending nearly seven times more on GOP campaigns than Democratic ones. He also accepted positions on two of Trump's White House counsels and tweeted his support of Rex Tillerson's nomination as Secretary of State. While Musk previously said he supported Hillary Clinton's campaign promises on the environment and climate change, he defended his decision to attend Trump's business council meetings so he could raise the issue along with the January 2017 travel ban affecting Muslim-majority countries. He then stepped down from the councils in June 2017, citing Trump's decision to leave the Paris Climate Accord. He tweeted that, Climate change is real, and that leaving the Paris Climate Accord was not a good move for the United States or the world. Musk largely stopped mentioning Trump from that point until much later in his presidency, when Trump attended a SpaceX launch for NASA in May 2020. In the last few years, Musk's flirtations with the Trump-led GOP have been ramping up. In mid-2022, Musk said he voted for a Republican candidate for the first time in a Texas special election, adding that he expected to see a massive red wave in the year's midterms. Musk's Texas voter registration does not show party affiliation, but he's argued on X that the Democratic Party has drifted further from the center than the GOP. In the closest thing Musk has offered to a 2024 endorsement, he tweeted in June 2022 that he was leaning towards supporting Republican Florida Governor Ron DeSantis for president. DeSantis, who has since dropped out of the race, joked that he welcomed support from African Americans, referencing Elon being South African. Musk also said in July 2022 that Trump shouldn't run for president again and instead just sail into the sunset. But the billionaire has since changed his tune. After taking control of Twitter, now X, at the end of 2022, Musk reinstated Trump's account on the platform. Musk called Trump's expulsion from the platform following the January 6th riots a morally bad decision and foolish to the extreme. Though Musk has not outright endorsed Trump for president, he appears to be getting close. Musk has repeatedly criticized Biden, calling the president a damp sock puppet last year and hosting an anti-Biden brain trust meeting with Republican billionaires in April 2024. Musk also recently had breakfast with Trump, along with Nelson Peltz, where the trio griped about voter fraud and Biden's performance, and after Trump's felony conviction last month, Musk went to bat for the Make America Great Again leader. Elon wrote in a post on X that great damage was done to the public's faith in the American legal system, 
He added that the conviction of Trump was motivated by politics rather than justice. And if a former president can be criminally convicted over such a trivial matter, then almost everyone is at risk of a similar fate. This was similar to the narrative that Trump was pushing by claiming that the whole thing was an act of political persecution. Trump has even been reportedly chatting up Musk about an advisory role in his cabinet if he wins in November 2024. And that's not the extent of the pair's burgeoning chumminess, because Musk said recently that the former president sometimes calls him on the phone out of the blue. While Musk has been more bullish lately about support for the GOP, his history of donations and past comments show that he has tended to position himself wherever he thinks power and influence are heading. Musk has yet to endorse a U.S. presidential candidate for the 2024 election, but a Bloomberg report said he's leaning away from Democrats. Sources told the outlet that Musk donated a sizable amount to America PAC, a political action committee focused on electing Donald Trump. The exact amount is unclear, but America PAC must disclose its list of donors. Musk had said in March on social media that he wasn't donating money to either presidential candidate. The report of his super PAC donation came two weeks after Biden faced Trump in the first presidential debate of the season. Biden's performance was widely criticized, prompting some top Democratic donors and party members to call for his exit. Biden has recently attempted to rebuild standing with voters, including an interview with ABC News and a press conference. However, he is struggling to reassure them. Musk, meanwhile, appeared amused by Biden's recent gaffes and mocked him on X. Biden misspoke during his press conference while discussing Vice President Kamala Harris. He said that he would not have picked Vice President Trump for the role if he did not think she was qualified to be president. Biden took Trump's name instead of Kamala Harris, which led to a lot of criticism from the community. Elon openly mocked Biden on X, saying that he could not believe that any of this was real. He also wrote that the reality is beyond parody and that the most entertaining outcome is the most likely. Elon Musk has also become a significant political figure, having endorsed former President Donald Trump recently for another term in the White House. In recent years, Musk has taken a hard right turn into conservative politics and has been waging a campaign against transgender people and policies designed to support them. In July 2024, he said he was pulling his businesses out of California. This was to protest a new state law that bars schools from requiring that trans kids be outed to their parents. On X, Musk has for years criticized transgender rights, including medical treatments for trans-identifying minors and the use of pronouns if they are different from what would be used at birth. He has promoted anti-trans content and called for arresting people who provide trans care to minors. After Musk bought X, then known as Twitter, in 2022, he rolled back the app's protections for trans people, including a ban on using dead names. Musk told Peterson that Wilson's gender transition has been the motivation for his push into conservative politics. So what do you guys think? Is Elon justified in his war against the so-called woke mind virus, or is he trying to bend his children to his will? His stance on politics has certainly changed over the last few years. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more such content. That's all we have for you today. See you in the next one.